We're setting up a share folder on a Mac for a copier to be able to send through SMB to or scan to folder. There is another video here where you're using a local account. Um, this video will be covering a uh, specific account created for the copier. Where this comes uh, in handy is if you have to frequently change your password or your personal account, you can create an account specifically for the copier to use so that you don't have to worry about your scanning breaking um, in the event that you have a uh, password change. So what we're going to do uh, first, let's go ahead and create a folder that we're going to send the documents to. We'll call it scans. We're going to go down to your system preferences. First, we're going to create a user. So we're going to click on users and groups. You're going to click the padlock, enter your password. Click the plus sign, and we're going to create a new account. In this case, we're going to use copier, and we're going to use the password copier. And you do not want to give admin rights to this uh, user. Leave it on standard user. Click create user, and then the user is going to pop up here. We'll go ahead and lock this back. We're going to hit the back arrow up here and take us back to the system preferences. We're going to click on the sharing icon here. We're going to make sure file sharing is enabled. If it's not, click that uh, checkbox there. And we're going to add the scan folder that we created. So we click the plus. We put it on our desktop. So we'll click desktop, click the scans folder, then click add. We're going to highlight this folder. Right here is currently the users that have the permissions for the folder. We're going to click the plus sign. And we're going to add copier. We want to make sure to give the copier read and write permissions. We're going to click the options box here. We're going to add the um, Windows file sharing and we're going to enter the password here and click OK and click Done. So this is essentially how it should look. So here's the, the, the copier's personal user account for this Mac. When we're all done here. Oh, one other thing we need to do. Also, so on this scans folder here, we need to click it and go to apply permission to enclosed items. If you don't do this, what will happen is the copier will send the file to the folder, but you won't be able to open it unless you go in and change the individual permissions on each file. So make sure you do apply permissions to enclosed items and click OK. All right, we're going to close this. Next, we're going to open our copier. In this case, we're going to use a BizHub C308. This applies to any Konica Minolta machine. Um, you might have a machine that has an interface like this or like this. Both are the same. You click Store Address. We're going to do New Registration. We're going to select SMB. We'll name the button. We'll select index value here, and we'll also put it on the main. We're going to put the uh, IP address for your Mac. Now, if you don't know the IP address of your Mac, 
if you go back to sharing, you can find that out right here. Okay. Some people like to use the name here, and that's fine as well. Um, may, you might uh, have some DNS issues that might cause that not to work properly. If so, just use the IP address. And bear in mind, if your IP address ever changes, your scanning is going to break. So, so every once in a while, if you have a power outage or something, your scanning quits working, you haven't changed your password, just double check to make sure your IP address is correct. So we're sending it to the scans folder and we're going to use the copier account. We're going to click OK. And click Return. And now we're going to go send a test print. OK, so I just went to the machine and I sent a test scan over. So let's minimize this. We'll open up the folder. And there's the scan. Double click on it. Now, if you see this, it goes back to that permissions issue. We want to make sure that uh, um, I didn't make a mistake here. We're going to go into the sharing and make sure this is apply permission to all enclosed items. Click OK. Now, this should take care of that. And there we have it. So um, if you have any questions, shoot us an email and uh, we'll get back to you. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.